good morning everybody quick video here for you this morning once again we're back in GNS3 and today I just want to talk about um, I guess you'd say having a little bit of fun inside the console or putty in GNS3 this doesn't have to be in GNS3 it's obviously what we're using um, since I don't have a full-blown physical environment here at home but yeah again just wanted to show you how to you know maybe have a little fun with inside the console. Sometimes you've been studying for weeks on end and the last thing you want to do is get back in there and start looking at the command line again. Maybe you're stuck. You know, take a breather. Don't totally step away from the technology. Maybe lighten things up a little bit. So one way to do that is to customize your uh, putty terminal and maybe add some ASCII art. So let's take a look at it guys. Configuration mode, let's name this guy uh, Spongebob. So this router's name is now Spongebob. And when I talk about ASCII art, there's a couple ways we can do it. The easiest way is just to download something that is already out there. So let me show you this page here. If you, I'll put this down in the description as well, but if you hop over to ASCIIart.eu, there's tons of categories, tons of images here, guys. I just looked up uh, SpongeBob. So we'll grab SpongeBob, maybe you're a Squidward fan. And we can actually make uh, this ASCII image the message of the day. So every time you log into the terminal, SpongeBob will greet you with a smile. So let's take a look at how to do that. So once you're in uh, global config mode, banner, MOTD. And the delimiting character is going to be a C. So what that means is. Um, you'll have to start it with the C and then end it with the C. So let's just copy this to our clipboard. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So I highlighted all the ASCII, copy. You should be able to just paste that in there. And then if we end that with the C, enter. There we go. So now if we exit this, log out. Hit enter, boom, there we are. We're greeted by SpongeBob. So again, just a quick video here, guys. Um, like I said, sometimes this can lighten things up. It's also kind of cool if you want to show someone who's new to networking um, that it doesn't always have to be so serious, everything you're learning. Sometimes a cool little trick like this is uh, a fun way to maybe spark the network bug in someone. So hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing.